Estrogen dominance can cause all kinds of nasty side effects, from small symptoms like feeling bloated to more problematic ones like gynecomastia in men or endometriosis in women. Since we are surrounded by xenoestrogens and plastics that can also contribute to your hormonal problems, knowing if you're estrogen dominant is super important. But the problem with regular blood tests is that they measure hormone levels in the blood, not the tissue where estrogen actually does its work. So you might have symptoms of estrogen dominance even if your blood work is fine. In this video, I want to show you a simple way of checking if your body carries excess estrogen that it cannot eliminate effectively. If you've watched my video on fixing estrogen dominance naturally, you know that the hormone leaves the body in three steps, most of which happen in the liver. They're called detoxification phase one, two, and three. In the first phase, enzymes break estrogen down into metabolites to prepare it for phase two, where something else is attached to the estrogen metabolite to make it less harmful and easier to eliminate. In phase three, your body then finally gets rid of the neutralized estrogen by either pooping it out or peeing it out. Now, there are many nutrients involved in all these processes, but the key one that will drastically upregulate your estrogen detox is vitamin B6 in its bioactive form P5P. It's essential for both phase one and phase two, and without enough P5P, your liver really struggles to eliminate estrogen effectively. So a very simple way of testing for estrogen dominance is to buy a P5P supplement and to take it for a few days. They're not very expensive and some people even notice changes after just one dose. Basically what happens when your body finally gets the nutrients necessary for estrogen detox is that it will flush out a lot at once. This turns your pee green or bright yellowish. Usually the more estrogen comes out, the greener it gets. This color change is caused by the breakdown of excess hormones and its excretion through your kidneys. This works for both men and women, and in very severe cases, your poop can even change its color. Again, green or yellowish. But this usually takes a few days because that elimination route is slower than through your kidneys. If you decide to try this out, there are a few things I want you to keep in mind. One, make sure to stay hydrated during the whole process. Drinking enough water helps your kidneys flush out the excess estrogen and it makes sure that those excess hormones don't get reabsorbed back into your system. Two, P5P is not the only nutrient involved here. Again, I have a full list in my video on fixing estrogen dominance, but P5P is just one of the most important players. If you take it and you feel like something is being stirred up but it cannot leave your body, you probably have a deficiency in a nutrient needed for phase two detox. That's why it's important you go slow and don't blast your system with hundreds of milligrams of P5P. For sensitive people, doses as low as five to 10 milligrams can be enough. Keep this in mind because many P5P supplements come in doses as high as 100 or 200 milligrams. So you might have to open the capsule and just take a little bit. Three, another supplement that also often causes estrogen detox is DIM, methane. Basically what it does is that it tells the body to get rid of excess estrogen via the 2-hydroxyestrone pathway, which is a healthier, less harmful pathway that is often underused in people with certain genetic predispositions. Online, you will also find a lot of people reporting that their pee turned green or yellow after taking DIM. It's not a direct substitute for P5P, but similar, so I wanted to mention it as well. And lastly, if you don't notice anything right away, that doesn't necessarily mean you're not estrogen dominant. It might just be that your body processes everything a little slower, or again, that you're deficient in other cofactors that your liver needs to get rid of the estrogen. This video is not meant as a complete guide to estrogen detox and estrogen problems, just as a quick tip that I noticed over the years in my students. P5P was often the single most potent supplement that opened the floodgates, and they would often be shocked after going to the bathroom. One more thing before I end this video, vitamin B2 also has the ability to change your pee's color, but it's a different color, usually more orange, and it is unrelated to estrogen. So if you Google vitamin B pee color, this is usually what shows up in the results, but it's not what I'm talking about in this video. Vitamin B2 and vitamin B6 in the form of P5P 
are different vitamins with different roles in the body. P5P is the one we're interested in.